Well, hello folks, Sam Owens here, and uh, I have a product uh, for the folks that have handguns. Uh, this is a, <clears throat> a Vivor uh, handgun safe. It'll hold two handguns, and uh, it'll be uh, really uh, a safety item for your home to keep uh, others from being able to get access to your guns. And uh, this is what it looks like, uh, and uh, it comes with a, a tether that uh, you can secure it to uh, some strong item. Uh, if you can mount this on the wall, you can mount it on the table, uh, just about anywhere. Now, this, there's a hole right here on the back that you can secure this to the back of that. And then, on the bottom are two holes here that you can secure it uh, to a table, a nightstand, whatever you uh, elect to secure it to. And it might be a good idea, <clears throat> then it can't walk away. You get uh, four batteries and some hardware for mounting. You get two keys and uh, you want to make sure you don't lock the keys inside the safe, not even one. Um, <clears throat> you want to secure these in a place where you can gain access. If the battery dies or something happens uh, that you forget the code, this is your fail safe to get into the safe. Also, you have a user manual that's going to give you the operation parameters uh, for setting up the pass code uh, and it has fingerprint identification and the key. Three ways of opening the safe and they're all quick. And right here, first thing you got to do is uh, replace uh, batteries. Well, there's no batteries in it, so it's not uh, going to be able to even be open except with the keys. That's the only way. And uh, they give you some information uh, and locations of items like the battery compartment. They uh, show you where that's inside. So again, we have to use the keys to get to that. And they even show you where the key door is, item number three. Uh, emergency keyhole right there and installation of the batteries uh, we've got to get access and we're going to do that by sliding this little plate over and uh, you put this in like that and then turn it counterclockwise there's a little piston here which makes it go up slow and easy there you go and then you'll take your batteries and they should last a long time and you'll get an indication on the lights uh, here when it's uh, getting low on battery and let's see here these are double a batteries and they say to use uh, uh, alkaline not to use lithium okay now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave that open and leave that in there. And it's going to be hard, but uh, right there, you'll be able to see the battery compartment, I believe. Right there. Okay. You push in and pull this little plate out. And there's the little hooks that go in, so that's pretty easy. And... You can kind of feel it. You can't really see it good, but the springs are on this end. And there's another spring on this end. So the batteries are gonna go in like this. You first put it in, there's a little bar there. You put that one in. And then you'll put this one in like this. And I'm trying to get my fingers out. Then just kind of pull that. Now there's the two on the bottom. Now the one on the top, the negative side is going to go this way because you can feel the spring there. So here you will put this one in first with the positive that way. Now let's see. 
Yep, I think that's the way because of this little bar being here. So you're gonna put that in and then you'll put the negative side in toward the spring like that. Then push with this and there. That's how you do it. Okay, now pop this back in, clip right here, and there's the little tabs, and the tabs go on the end, like that, all the way in. And this foam kind of wants to hold it up, so you have to kind of overcome that, and they'll, you'll, you'll hear a snap, and that's the end. Now, right here, and it's hard to see that, but here is some lights right here, and there is your push button for setting up the passcode and everything. Right there is the little, little push button. Right in there, you can feel it. See? And it lights up. Okay. And it'll time out if you don't do anything. And so there's a procedure for locking this and, uh, uh, and uh, unlocking it, actually. Okay, so we're going to, we've got our key here. We're going to put that in and put our keys up for right now. And we're going to go through the manual to find out how to set the password. That'll be the first thing where we use these four keys. And it's one, two, three, four. So you don't have a five through nine or even zero. So you got to use these codes, um, these push buttons to make your code. Um, all right, now I'm going to read this to you. Uh, in the standby state, pr which it is, press the setting button once uh, and the blue light will shine. Now we're going to have to open this up and start from that point. So here I'm going to open her again. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to try to put this where you can see that. Right here is the push button on top, and you can feel it. And the other three are LEDs, okay? So it says to press the setting button once, and the blue lights will shine. Let's just do that and see what they're talking about. One, and there's the blue lights right there. Okay, it'll time out if we don't do anything, but just to show you, all four of these, the little circle around the button will light up blue. And, uh, and the beeper, a buzzer beep will sound twice. So we'll try that one more time. Beep beep, okay. Uh, enter a, pass, a new password uh, and press the setting button again. The blue lights will light up and the uh, buzzer beep will sound for a long time, indicating the password has been set successfully. All right, I'm gonna make it easy, uh, and you can go from four to six um, uh, numbers. And I think, let's see what the, um, the factory uh, password is one, two, three, four. So we're gonna try that before we set it because you only put one password and there, there's not multiple passwords. So we're gonna close this and use the factory um, password. Okay, uh, let's do, let's see. If we're gonna open it. There we go. Now that I could have opened the first time and I did using a password, one, two, three, four is the factory um, code when you get it. And it says that way over in uh, restore factory settings on page seven, you'll see it right there, nowhere else. Okay, now we're gonna set, we're gonna change that uh, to another passcode. I'm going to do 4321 as my new passcode. Now you know how to get in gun safe. Okay, now as it said, press this, just a quick press. Two beeps, four, three, two, one, and then press it. There's the long beep. All right, 
now I'm going to close it. I secured my keys. And now we're gonna try one, two, three, four to see if it will open. Now that was the factory. Nope. Now let's try. Okay. See it? Uh, it blinked red and beep beep. It uh, saw that I put wrong code in. Okay, now I'm going to try the new code. There you go. Okay, again, if I try one, two, three, four, watch what happens. It didn't open. And then I'm gonna try... Nothing. Now, if I try to do it again, you get you get some um, red lights in there saying that you have the wrong code. So right now, this safe can be opened only with the passcode 4321. Very, very easy. And not too hard to remember either um, how to set it up. Okay, that's setting a passcode. Now uh, we're going to... Um, Oh, right here it says muffle function. Maybe you don't want those sounds uh, to uh, sound out at night uh, and you want to keep it uh, quiet. Uh, you have a way of doing that. Long press the number one key about three seconds. The blue light will shine and the sound will be silenced successfully. The long press, then long press the one again for three seconds. The blue light will shine and the sound will turn on. Let's try that. One. Okay. Now we're going to put our codes in and see if they make a sound. Notice it was quiet. So you may want that if there's an intruder in the house, you don't wanna hear them, oh, uh, you're making the sounds of the safe opening. Okay, so that's quiet. Now to get it uh, back to uh, making a sound, I push and hold it for three seconds or until I hear the beep. And now, very simple. Uh, I like the sound. I'm not worried about it because it really tells you that you're pushing the button now. Okay, uh, let's do the fingerprint now. And we go over here. Uh, let's see. Fingerprint. Set fingerprint. 20 fingerprints can be registered. So they really give you a lot of uh, leeway on the fingerprint. There, see? When I put my fingerprint up there, give me all red lights. <clears throat> now, it says uh, in the standby state, which it is, uh, the setting button, uh, press the setting button once and the blue lights will light up and the buzzer will beep twice. We know that from doing the passcode. At this point, put your finger on the fingerprint collector, raise your finger when you hear the beep sound, then put the same finger back on the fingerprint collector and press it repeatedly three times. At the time, at this time, the buzzer beep indicator indicating that the fingerprint is set successfully. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's see. We push this. Okay, I feel it. Okay, put it on there and lift it. There, long B. Okay, now we're gonna see if it works. Very good, that was quick and easy. And then you could have uh, the family members put their fingerprint on there. And so that uh, if something happened that someone else needed to open the safe, you'd have others to be able to do it. It's gonna be a great uh, uh, gun safe for homes with uh, guns, handguns, and uh, also to make them uh, accessible uh, near you. 
and this little safe is gonna be nice. I don't actually have a firearm handgun that I can put in here to show you, but uh, what I do have is a rubber band gun, and I have uh, some uh, grandkids that, uh, or great grandkids that uh, I don't want to, to be able to get hold of my rubber band gun, so. Let's use that as my demonstration. This is it, and if you'll notice, it's loaded already. And uh, I don't want it uh, loaded when I put it in there, so I'll just discharge it right now. And you see, that would pop the little great-grandsons right in the eye, I'm sure, and I don't want that at all. So we're going to lock this up, and he can't get access. You see, there's plenty of room to put another gun in with the barrel this way, handle up. But before I do, I'm going to take the, uh, the clip out. So I just push this over, and there's my clip. And now uh, it's a little safe there. I'm going to go ahead and put my ammunition in there. Because we don't want to get hold of that either. So I'm all safe, and... I do have a, um, a 3030 rifle and uh, I have some ammunition for it. I'm going to put it up also right here and we just pop that in there. And so that's another thing you could uh, put in here. Uh, even valuables if you need them. Okay, and now we're gonna lock that down. I wanna thank you very much for watching my video.